Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon, the Hamlet, the the Super Weeb Estate, whatever you want to call it. I decided I would open it up from the loading screen because this loading screen lasts so long because of all the mods I have that uh, I figure I can do the entire intro and it won't be done. So, here's all the bosses we've killed. Pretty cool, I know. Uh, so let's see. We still have more than a few bosses to go. We need to do some leveling because we lost some people. Uh, we need to get some more trinkets, preferably some healing trinkets. I still don't have one. <laughs> I don't have the 15% one. I don't have Junia's head, which is 30%. Ugh. So we want some healing trinkets. We want some damage trinket. We, we need trinkets, basically. And to get trinkets, we're either going to need to get lucky with the trinket trader. Totally forget what her name is. Um, and the other way to get... Hey, there we go. Well, it, you know, it almost lasted as long. <clears throat> so, we need to get some high levels. That way we can get ourselves some trinkets. So, it's going to be a little quick sort of montage -y thingy. It's not going to be music this time. We're going to try this. I'm basically just going to cut to things that are interesting. Um, so yeah, it'll be like Darkest Dungeon, the cut up episode, basically. <laughs> well, uh, let's hope it goes well. We are just before the comet, I believe. <clears throat> I just want to point out, I think I have found, with modded characters, the best four people to go through this. Now, here's the reason. Tifa has regenerative, which, uh, let, let's take a, let's take a little look. Regen. And regen. So, if my math is right, she will be healed for about nine? Eight? Nine or eight? From the librarian. And she'll be healed for about, what? four around there and then <clears throat> Miss Grove Tender increases healing by 50% as well as it being a heal so let's say you know he's low right oh no he's low so you give him a heal 50% healing received she puts her heal on him <clears throat> when it's his turn next boom tons of heals super super good um so here's what I'm running on him. Uh, crystal Pendant, Cluster Pendant, sorry. Plus 50% stress damage received, so we have the Book of Sanity. So he's getting mi he's getting minus 5% <coughs> stress damage, excuse me. Uh, she is basically the main source of damage, so we give her the, uh, the Miller Pendant. And then, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Reynold. We give, we give her that, because I find unlike the darkest dungeon <clears throat> it goes off pretty often um, we got super lucky <laughs> with the checks this time ignore the stress um, we could go fight the comet but I would prefer having our actual people <clears throat> so even though we could go fight it right now um, I think it's better to fight it with our real people rather than the farming mercenaries of which you know Two of them are people who are dead, so it, it wouldn't count if I fought the comet. I, I don't think it would actually... I wouldn't count it even if I won. So, um, I've been avoiding fighting the comet. This is about as far as I'll go. Um, so, I really didn't have... Since we don't have anything to increase healing, I really don't know what to put on her. So, <laughs> you know, dodge and uh, stress, minus stress. And then Crystal Pendant. Book of Constitution because they do a lot of blight, and in my experience, a lot of the random enemies j have a chance to disease you. So I just you know try to keep diseases at a mini at a minimum. Like for example, tapeworm uh, sucks, but it's fine. So we got more than a few comet shards. Um, we're gonna go ahead and leave, and let's see how many we got purely from kills. A hundred and one from kills, plus 16k gold, 15 crests. Like, that's not bad at all. 
that is okay that is with the mod that gives more plus the two crystal pendants but I see it as I see it as perfectly fine considering all the characters we're gonna have in the series plus they take 40% because 10% 10% 10% 10% you know 10% times 4 that's 40% anyways uh, on to another scene the divinity eternal made from our own flesh and the blood from the oldest. Thus, the first new one was born. The sin. One. Ten. Looks a bit on the weird side, but you know what? I'm sure she's beautiful. Oh, whoa, who's this? Oh, man, what an, what an adorable little pet. We're gonna name him... Wilbur. Oh! Look at Wilbur. Oh, how adorable. Have you guys ever, <laughs> I bet you guys have never seen who Wilbur is, huh? Never. Also, we have a Grove Tender now, but Wilbur, you've never seen the likes of Wilbur. Now I hear what you're saying. You shouldn't open that. It's dangerous. You might get a uh, hundred stress. You know what I say? We need the loot. Nice. Ooh, look at that. You dare question the holy. All right, well, about that hundred stress thing. Here we go. Let's see what we get. Ooh, powerful. Woe to those who get in my way. AKA, glory to the money. Because she likes money gonna get poisoned, didn't she? Hey. Okay, so last time I saw one of these guys, he left he elusive exited turn two. I thought they had to get into slot four to do that, but no, they can just do it whenever they feel like it, I guess. So you know. There's your uh, bit of trivia for the day. <laughs> one of the fun thing about that mod that makes it so there's level 2 and 4 dungeons. It's the fact that you can bring level 1s and level 3s into the same dungeon. It's honestly really nice. <laughs> yep, it is pretty nice. However, we need monies. So we're just gonna keep going, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I snorted. <laughs> That was on accident. I didn't mean to do that. Tell you what. Why don't we explore together for a bit? Because I know you're feeling left out. You're like, oh, it's cutting around too much. I don't like this. So you know what? Just for you, watch this. 60% just for you. <clears throat> a 60% chance to be hit, of course. I knew, I knew that was going to happen, of course. <clears throat> well... We know that there's no uh, room battle, so we'll just keep going. We'll just keep looting. Look at all these goodies. Wow. By the way, three rare antiques, uh, 14 minor antiques, oh, and nearly 10k gold. Oh, hello. Why don't we have this battle, huh? Watch this. It's going to be great. Yeah. Never mind. She just backflipped. You know, nothing really special about that one. Sorry if the auto is a bit sort of fidgety. Uh, I don't have it properly set up at the moment. But what matters is we're gonna blow through this dungeon. Because we're already finished, so now we just have to. Oh, the horror. Oh, here we go. Favorite move. And the stun. Looks so cool. I gotta applaud every mod developer out there. I gotta applaud because, uh, yeah, I <clears throat> I would never be able to make something as uh, as high quality as the stuff you guys do. So just you know, you guys are pretty cool. Stir, rise, and rise to your resolve. Have some buff. All right, we're gonna finish out the duel, but what? Do oh, we're gonna get crit first. Ow, 25 stress. Yikes. And we're out of there. 
Rawr! Goodies. Goodies. <laughs> oh, by the way, you, want, you guys want to know something interesting? The torch does not work on these. I thought it would work and just reduce stress, but nah. It doesn't work that way. So we're going to have a little camp. A little camp uh, sesh. Yeah. Bit of stress healing. You know, save on the medical bills. Um... Does anyone have... Uh, he does. Yeah. Insomnia. I do not require sleep. Rest, friends. Well, we may as well just stress heal a bit. So, who's got the best stress heal? Mm. Well, we'll just encourage. 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 Um... Well, he doesn't have encourage. Uh, we could always go for the crit. Um, or we could go for, you know what, let's go for a trinket. Oh, my, what? Minus two, minus two damage to melee skills, but plus three speed. That's not, that seems okay. I mean, I don't plan on using melee on her anyway, so. Um. Okay, well, why don't we go for a crit heal? Darn. Well. We good. You good. And you. And you. There's nothing for it now. We've run out of wood. The way is lit. The path is clear. And we're on to the next one. So now that we're back in town, right after, you know, that dungeon, uh, I kind of figured I haven't shown you guys what we have for quite a while, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. <clears throat> so first, we'll start from the non-DLC stuff. So we have the bank, so we get more monies because we need money, bad. Cartographer's camp because I really like the extra torch buffs. So even if you have like no torch, um, you still get a bunch of buffs. So I quite like that. We have the sanguine vinters for more blood a week. And, well, that's it for that. But, then, we go to the blacksmith. Everything's maxed out. Uh, we go to the guild. Almost everything's maxed out. We still need to get the training refinement. Um, the abbey, we've done basically nothing to. The sanitarium, we've done a bit to. Not too much. It's kind of been neglected. Uh, tavern, we've done jack to. Stagecoach, we've, you know... We've done what we need out of it. The Nomad Wagon. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah. So I'd say it's a pretty good amount of upgrades. Definitely not, uh... Probably not what we need. But it's good enough. It's a bit of buffs. We get blood, so we never have to worry about it. We don't have... Oh, speaking of blood. The amount of people with the Crimson Court... Crimson Court. The amount of people with the Crimson Curse... It's starting to get a bit ridiculous, so... Um, we're definitely gonna want... Well, first of all, for the cracked fencing helm, because I really want that. Um, especially because... Look at look at that. Repost. More crit. Yes, please. Considering she does, like, 25 crit... Yes. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, we're gonna try and level a few people to six. I'm thinking Amelia... We're going to have to do some level 4 or 5 dungeons regardless. Because we want goodies. Except there are no good goodies right now. Um, so we're going to be doing a lower level one. Uh, ooh. Well, there's nothing incredible up right now, so I guess we'll just do something that gives a lot of gold. I want to know what makes for a really interesting strategy. She is level 1. This is a level 4 dungeon. She may be on death's door. 
but she only has, I don't know where you look, but she only has zero health. Zero out of zero. Now you may be asking, why would you use a character like that? Well, <laughs> that's where she gets interesting. She can use five skills. Uh, she either goes in position one or four. Uh, I prefer in four for right now. Um, but for example, she is guarded by this boy marked with the stress. It says one round, it's actually forever. Just like the guard says one round, it's actually forever. Um, she is able to heal the team, and every time she heals, her heals become more powerful. Um, she is able to heal the person who is guarding her and give that person 100% damage reflection. So, basically... Oh, and if the person guarding her attacks her, they take the damage instead of her. Making her, essentially, invincible as long as the person she's connected with, being the large corpse eater right now, it, it, she's basically invincible. And here's another interesting thing. Now you may, you, now it may have crossed your mind. Why would you ever bring someone with no health with the fool who has a chance to blight with every attack? Well, that's where it gets interesting. She has 500% blight resistance, 500% bleed resistance, and 500% move resistance. She cannot be blighted. She cannot be bled. She can barely get diseases. So, oh, her equipment cannot be leveled, which means it is permanently level one. She, her skills can be upgraded Though, if she has special trinkets, those uh, upgrades get better. I, I don't fully understand how she works completely, but she has a lot. <laughs> she has a ton of speed. So she's going to outspeed basically everything in the entire game. Um, you force an enemy to guard you. You give them 50% more health. You stress her out a little bit. But... Uh, pair her with like you know the jester and it's basically fine so yeah I think she she's honestly quite a strong um, character but yeah rant over oh also I wanted to point this out this is ridiculous what is this curio quest location curio 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 quest location curio 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 Kirio, Kirio, room battle with Kirio. <laughs> what, what is that luck? That is nuts. It's a level level four dungeon. Um, but yeah, I, I just thought I would talk about that because I'm sure people would be questioning why I'm taking a level one into a level four dungeon. Well, that's because she doesn't really get much better. <laughs> so uh, you may as well just take her when you got her. Anyways, yeah. You want to know something funny? If I recall, this is the exact same room with the exact same enemy that we lost so many people so long ago. Regardless, with a bit of stress healing, she's fine. See? She's been going pretty well. Well, I say that, but I am against my arch nemesis, so... I mean, we'll see for sure, but... <laughs> Uh, oh boy, oh boy. Let, let's not have a, uh, <clears throat> a redo. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go ahead and avoid any potential redo, shall we? Let's just, like, let's just have all of them resist. What matters is, we're in the ninth gate. What is this? Where am I? Kill. Miss. Oh boy. <laughs> it was fate! <laughs> Look, I'm just trying not to have a redo of the very first incident of a team wipe. We're just gonna keep stress healing her down because she does a lot of stress damage to herself. Ow. She's also our main healer, and she always goes first, so that's a plus. They're all going for the mark guy. Going for her is fine, because we actually want her to not be full health. 
I am so glad that he's dodging everything. Have I been going in the wrong direction? Dead. Nope. <laughs> so he's dead. We just need to kill the first one, and then we can kill her guard. Boosh! Another one falls. See, that didn't go half bad. She talks in gibberish. So we're gonna heal the person in the front. Boosh! Become healed, my servants. Praise your new. Okay, as much as I want to do it. And why not? The finale! Was it worth it? Yeah, probably. Still looking for a secret room. Good news, haven't found one. So we're just gonna keep going on our way. Once again, another secret room. Another lack of Jania's head. Or any head, actually. I've gotten no head. Anyways, let's see what we got. We have gotten... I mean, that's a pretty good haul, if you ask me. Plus the seven rounding up 8k gold. That's pretty dang good, if you ask me. You want to know something interesting I found out? It's why I've never gotten Junia's head. It only drops from the collector, huh, who we fought a grand total of one time, two times, which, uh, you know, kind of explains the fact that we've never gotten it, because he has a one in four job, a one in four chance of dropping it. So, yeah, that kind of explains why we've never seen it before. Uh, at least I know, so... At some point, I'm going to have to figure out how to go collector hunting. So that'll be fun. Anyways, these guys are getting out of hand. So, <laughs> yeah. We're definitely going to need to get our trinkets up and get people to level 6 so that they can go deal with that. Alrighty, so we're hoping for a collector. I This, it looks good to me, right? Does that not look like a majority of my inventory is just loot? It looks like it to me. So if we find him, <laughs> he's in for a little treat. So we're going to go ahead and head to the left, and... Nope. You guys ready to see something completely borked? Boosh! <laughs> oh, and he's not done there. He's not done there. Your soul is mine. He's getting an extra, an extra 15 health purely off that move. That is so dumb. <laughs> it's a lot of fun though. I'll tell you that. This dungeon hasn't been very exciting, despite how big it is. Like you would think, oh, it's a huge dungeon. It's probably been super exciting. No, not really. Kind of been a breeze. Two mass regeners. See, she has a big AoE regen. And then Mr. Gwendolyn has a big AoE regen. And then he steals life and heals himself. Plus it's level one. Oh. Ooh. Oh yeah. Totally forgot about that. So she skipped her turn. Yeah, she has solar addiction. Um you know, might spend a turn healing self. Next stage is solar immunity. I don't know what that means, <laughs> but every ability that heals, he has a chance to cause a disease, and uh, he caused it, so I'm going to hope that doesn't continue. Anyways, soul. if I find the collector, I'll be sure to let you know, but what I'm pretty excited about, oh, watch this, this is great, I love this about Mr. Gwendolyn, look, he made a buddy, and the buddy deals damage to enemies. And so basically, what the what the shade does is if it hits us, it doesn't do damage, it doesn't do stress, and instead puts a regen on us. And if he hits an enemy, it does little damage and then puts a blight on him. Super good. Also, we can hit him because Mr. Gwendolyn, if he uses the Dark Sun Arrow on him, heals it. 
which makes it stick around for longer. Which, as we all know, is a pretty good thing. Now, I believe... Stress heal? Yes. Good. Alright, well, I'll be sure to let you know if any of these battles are a collector. Alright, alright, do we get a collector? Nope. How about door number three? Nope. Door number three is a bust. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, what about door number five? Nope, door number five is also a bust. Or was that door number four? I no longer remember. Alrighty. This time for realsies. This is the real door number five. <sighs> That's not scientifically possible! In case you're wondering what we got from that, here are the spoils. The spoils of the ruins. Honestly, it was pretty, for like a level one dungeon, that really wasn't that bad. So let's see, gifted, ooh, more healing received, nice. And then we got protection. Then we got stun resist. And then we got protection. That's really good, actually. I'm quite happy with that. Ah, yes. Let us meet our new companion. The Arcanist. Who we're gonna make. Really vibrantly colored. From what I understand, what? Oh, does he? Ooh, is he one of those classes that transforms, so to speak? Ooh, that's gonna be real interesting. I don't know why I'm talking in weird accents, but <laughs> he's a manslayer and he's hard skinned, so ten percent protection. I... What is up with the hard skinned? Hard did the skin did did. Actually, this is pretty good to see what the divinity's stats are at max. So, I don't think she'd be good as, <laughs> as a mercenary. I really think she'd be horrendous. So, it heals, heals again, heals again, has a chance to heal a fourth time. That sounds pretty strong. And then, it's basically, basically the same. Uh, everywhere else. I think she's pretty cool. I don't think she should be a mercenary, but that's fine. Ooh. Weird. Ooh, a moon ring. That would have been nice to put on our freaking uh, Dark Wraith, because he does so much damage. <laughs> The darker it is, the more damage he does. And so with a with a moon ring, oh, <laughs> with a moon ring, oh boy, he'd be doing a ton of damage. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, it was definitely a weird one because I'll tell you what, I didn't really know when to talk and when not to talk because I just sort of cut it up. But eh, I think it went pretty well. Uh, showed a lot of progress in much shorter time, and, you know, it still had commentary, even though I didn't, yeah, it was a bit confusing for me, but that's the first time I've done anything like that, but be sure to let me, be sure to let me know what you guys think, and, you know, as always, thank you for watching, we should get to the actual meat and potatoes soon, but Darkest Dungeon is a game where farming is required sometimes, and that is one of these times. Luckily, we're getting close. We're nearly there. So, with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. See ya. I still don't have a solid outro.